Ron Haslam can turn his hand to practically anything, whether it's building a house or flying a model helicopter. But he tends to get very bored doing things the orthodox way. It's not good enough just to take off, hover, then land. You've got to push things to the limit, perform some stunts, turn the thing upside down, and maybe do a few somersaults as well. Always modest, Ron says he's no expert, but these pictures tell a slightly different story. Really enjoy that. I think you were being very modest when you said, "Oh, I'm not very good." <laughs> <laughs> He's also pretty good at riding a motorbike. Over a 30-year racing career, Rocket Ron Haslam took three world titles and four British championships. He also won numerous races around the tortuous TT course on the Isle of Man, and won the grueling Macau Grand Prix a record six times on the trot. This likeable and unassuming man from Derbyshire has now retired from competitive racing, but can still be found flying round his local circuit. Donington is home to the Honda Ron Haslam Race School, the mecca for bike riders looking to improve their riding skills and get a thrill into the bargain. They've been based here since 1997, and since then it's become the number one bike race school in the world. In charge is Ron's wife, Anne, who's developed a program that makes it possible for beginners and expert bike riders to experience the thrill of taking a sports bike on track. The whole family is involved with daughter Emma helping out on the admin side and son Leon instructing on the track. So if you've never been to anything like this before, what can you expect? I think they can expect a really good experience on bike control safety and the experience at Donington Park as well, you know, the GP track, the one that Ross has just been around and everybody else, you know, you can experience what they see as they go around, so uh, you can't really get that anywhere else, you know, it's fantastic, you know, uh, and also while you're doing all that, you're learning to control your bike, you're learning what habits you've got, uh, or if you need a bit more experience under you. So it's, uh, it's not just one thing, it's just, you know, it's a good all-rounder. And the school caters for all ages and all levels of riding experience. We've got what we call the starter course, which is uh, a real beginning level. Um, but saying that, we say beginning level, but uh, at the moment it's getting very popular because we do uh, circuit work to start with. Uh, so they do quite a bit of circuit work with the instructor. And then once they've done the circuit work, we go into the car park after. And uh, we do what you call basic skills, which is, uh, I try and keep it nice and free. And I would say exciting. So your first one is going in that cone, which sounds very boring. but. Uh, the more experienced lads that come on the course in, the, in, in our starter course is uh, we get them to make it a bit harder. We sort of get them to go through one hand on or the other hand off or sitting on the seat, uh, standing up, you know, kneeling on the seat. You know. That's for the more experienced ones that's come on that course. But the ones that's only just started, then it's a task for them just to go through the cones. Then we're going to a, a perfect uh, circle, you know, uh, to do a bit of cornering, you know, the, how, how you would approach a corner and how you would close the throttle to go through it and when you would bring the throttle back on. And uh, then we do a different type of corner, like uh, what they call a squaring off corner, which again, it's, uh, it's a good experience. The corner is, uh, you can approach it in so many different ways. So we just do a, a couple of different ways how you can approach it, how you can give yourself more, more stopping time. Um, if you're in a bad situation, it gives you more idea to get out of it where it do, you don't have to think it, you know, it starts to come a bit more natural. But to start with, yes, you have got to think and learn it. Uh, and then we go on the braking side. We go for a, a controlled braking on the front brake only, making sure you get weight on the wheel so uh, it doesn't lock and stuff like that. So, but all this is in a, I try and build it into a fun session as well. So there's quite a few people out there. I go out there myself with them and uh, have a, you know, a close, close company with them and all that stuff, which is very different. And uh, it seems to work well. And it seems to be, because they're more settled, and it's, uh, I would say, it's not a sitting down classroom type thing. You know, it's, uh, it's not, not that type of school. It's, I try and keep it as a, uh, this is a day out, a fun day out, but you are going to actually learn something at the end, but you're not going to realise that. You know, it's going to just be a nice day for you. That's the starter course.